Okay, everybody. We are headed out to the chicken coop, and I wanted to show you something special that I'm very excited about. So do you want to tell them what we've been letting the chickens do, Devanna? We've been letting them sit on me because we have a rooster and he like jumps on them to give them special hugs. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Did she find that funny? Yeah. <laughs> and um, maybe that's how he like gets... Um, baby chick eggs. Yeah. So we're letting them sit on them and, and instead of just like pushing them off. So we actually have a rooster and I don't want to make mama too mad. Here's some eggs. Um, we have a rooster and he is an Americana rooster and he has blue egg jeans. So that means that all of these eggs are mixed with a blue egg gene. So like this is a blue egg. And so it will make blue egg chicks. But then these, these are gonna make really cool colors. So we're gonna have a chat about chicken genetics and how you can breed chickens to get a really colorful egg basket. We've got three little nests here. This mama is sitting on them too. Got a whole bunch. So our earliest ones are from February 16th. So the soonest they could hatch is the 8th. It takes 21 days. Um, but I basically just write the date on all of the eggs that I am saving so I know not to keep them. There's a few I have question marks on and that is because we were sick for a while and I didn't come out for a few days. And because of that, I just put question marks, but I know generally it's within a three day span. All right, guys, we are back inside. Devona got our bounty of eggs, and now we are gonna have a chat about chicken genetics. And this is gonna be the very, very bare bones. Um, I am not a biologist, I'm not pretending to be. I just wanted to share the knowledge I do have with you guys about how it all works. So, um, a female chicken, a hen, lays eggs, um, just like people do, uh, without it having to be fertilized. So, where, like, female women, we lay eggs inside of our bodies, and they lay eggs outside of their bodies. So, um, they can lay eggs, whether it's fertilized or not, by a rooster. In fact, a lot of people who just have chickens for eggs do not have a rooster, so they don't have to worry about any of the eggs being fertilized. Now, we have actually never really kept a rooster because of this and because we live in a residential neighborhood. We just want to be courteous. Um, but we actually had a chicken that was supposed to be a hen end up being a rooster, but he didn't develop into a rooster until a year uh, after we got him. So he was a chicken. He was a year old. So he was a late bloomer, but he has actually been the kindest rooster we have ever had. Um, he's very kind to all of the hens. He does a really good job and he isn't super loud. I'm still planning to not keep him indefinitely because I know most of our egg customers do not like getting fertilized eggs and I haven't been selling any of the eggs that are fertilized. Um, but he is a blue jean rooster. So he is an Americana rooster and he lays, if he were to lay eggs, it would be blue. So he carries those blue egg genetics and we were wanting to add some more chickens to our flock. And so it made sense to go ahead and keep him and let him fertilize the eggs. And then our chickens started sitting on the eggs and it just made sense to let them hatch out the eggs and to let the kids kind of follow along. Are you excited? Devona has been begging me to let us hatch out chicks for a long time, so she's pretty excited. So here is a sampling of the colored eggs that we get from our chickens, and I'm gonna use these as examples to kind of teach you about how you can get all the different colors from the eggs. So what a lot of people don't realize is that chickens can actually only lay two colored eggs. The eggshell itself is only two colors. It is either blue or it is white. 
Anytime you get a brown color or speckles or anything like that on top of the egg, it is because the egg is basically spray painted, for lack of a better term, onto the egg shell. So the eggshell itself can only be white or blue, and then any other color variations are because of that spray that is put on top of the egg, the bloom, before the egg is laid. It's actually later in the egg making process, and it's before the egg is actually <coughs> laid. So <coughs> keeping that in mind, that's how you get all of the different colors. So this egg right here, it's hard to tell. I'm trying to get it in good lighting. This is a blue egg, but it has some white speckles on it. There we go. Um, and so when we breed our blue rooster to this blue egg laying hen, we are going to be getting blue egg layer chicks from the eggs that hatch from this. And I'm hoping, because this is speckled, that we'll get some speckled ones too. Now, this egg right here is laid by a chicken that does white eggs and has a light brown cream spray that goes on top of the egg. These Moran eggs, these really dark brown ones, if I breed this with a blue egg layer like I'm doing with my rooster, then I'm gonna be getting a blue egg that is sprayed with a really dark brown on top of it. And that is how you get your olive eggers and your dark greens. And it's also how you can get, um, some people will get like pink colored eggs, all sorts of different colors that way. So um, then we also have, I have, a, I have some Morans that are laying these really beautiful speckled eggs. And so when I mix this egg with a blue egg layer rooster, then hopefully I will be getting some really cool like green speckled eggs. I think those will be gorgeous. And this is from one of my green egg layers. It's harder to, there we go. I haven't cleaned these yet. I didn't want to wash the bloom off. Um, so this is one of my green egg layers. So this egg underneath is blue. The shell of this egg is blue, and it was probably crossbred with a chicken that lays a light color um, brown like this. So this egg probably came from mixing like this one and this one. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's all either white or blue eggs, and because we have a blue egg rooster, when you mix that with all of these different colors, you can get some really cool mashups happening. Now, as far as the genetics for the actual chicks we're gonna be getting from this, there's a few different terms that you can call it. And I'm not gonna use the scientific terms because they're very long and I can barely pronounce it. But basically, if I breed a blue egg rooster to a blue egg hen, it's going to for sure have chicks that lay blue eggs and their chicks will have double blue egg genes. Whereas if I breed the dark Moran egg, this is a white shell underneath. So I'm breeding a white shell with a blue shell. And so the chick will for sure lay eggs that are blue shelled with a brown tint because the tint is genetic and so is the um, blue shell. The blue shell is a dominant trait on the very first breed. So I know for sure because the blue egg is dominant on the very first generation that I will be guaranteed to get blue egg colored shells in all of these. Now, once you get past that first generation, it gets complicated as to whether or not that blue egg dominance carries forward. The thing to know is that the blue egg shell is dominant. That genetic is dominant in the very first generation of chicks. So I am guaranteed to know because I have blue egg genes in my rooster that every single chick I have hatched from this batch of eggs is going to be laying eggs that have blue egg shells. Now, whether or not they carry every tiny little detail of their parents' spray that goes on top of that is a little iffy. Now, as far as the time to hatch, it takes exactly 20 to 21 days for a chicken egg to hatch from the time it was laid and the chicken is sitting on it. Now, some people will bring a fertilized egg into their house and then pick them to go into an incubator, incubator, and that time frame starts once it goes into the incubator. So if my chickens are making a nest but they haven't sat on it yet, that time would start when they actually start sitting on the eggs. So I would definitely give it a few days leeway. Don't throw an egg out if it has been 22 days and it hasn't hatched yet. 
Now there's other ways to do it than just let your hen sit on it, but I have found that is by far the easiest. I have hatched eggs from an incubator before, but it has been a very long time and um, you have to worry about the humidity, you have to worry about turning the eggs, you have to worry about the exact temperature, all of those sort of things. And I have found that if I have chickens who want to sit on the eggs for me, it makes it a lot easier. And they also will raise the chicks for me. All I have to do is make sure that I've got chick food and water out there and they are going to raise the chicks for me. And I can't wait for you guys to follow along and see how that happens as well. I have found that the less I can intervene with how nature naturally does stuff, the better it turns out for everyone. Now my hatch rate probably isn't going to be as good where I have the chickens sitting on the eggs versus if I controlled everything and did it in an incubator. But when I am the one who is supplying the eggs um, by not um, bringing them into the house and just letting them sit on them, then I'm like, okay, I know I want this many chicks, so I'm gonna let them sit on like double the amount of eggs. If we have any extra chicks, we can give them away to friends or sell them. Is there anything you would like to add, Devona? We um, felt an egg like moo of a baby chicken side, so it will either come, it will either hatch today or tomorrow, and we really hope it's going to be today. Yeah, did we pick up an egg, and as we held it, we could feel the chick moving inside of it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's probably going to hatch really soon, isn't it? Yeah. So either today or tomorrow. Are you really excited? Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to name it, the first chick? Um, Spots. Spots, that's a good name. I hope that generally covers your questions about chicken genetics and how to get different colored eggs and where they all come from. Um, if you have some chickens and a rooster and you're trying to predict all of that, um, feel free to shoot me any questions and I'll try to help you out. If I don't know the answer, I will try to see if I can find it. I know a lot of you know way more about this than I do, but I did want to help the other people out there who are just beginning and want to get that base level of knowledge. Um, if you want to follow along and see our little chicks and follow as they grow, feel free to um, subscribe and always, I so appreciate it if you like and share and comment below. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and happy chickening!